given n choose k is the coefficient of x to the power of k, y to the power of n minus k, in the expansion of the nth power of x plus y, we want to determine, so for the first question, what is the coefficient of x to the third, y to the fifth, in the expansion of the eighth power of x plus y? To begin, notice n, the exponent on the binomial is eight, and because we're looking for the coefficient of x to the third, y to the fifth, k is equal to three. So let's first find the x to the third, y to the fifth term, and then we'll give the coefficient. So the term is going to have a factor of x to the third, y to the fifth, and then in this case, the coefficient is going to be n choose k, which in this case is eight choose three. So this first example is very basic because it matches our notes perfectly, meaning the binomial is just x plus y. Eight choose three is equal to 56, and therefore the term is 56 x to the third y to the fifth, and therefore the coefficient is 56. However, the coefficient is only 56 when we have a very basic binomial like we have here, where the binomial is a sum of two variables and the coefficients are one. Many times this will not be the case. For example, the next question, we're asked to find the coefficient of x to the seventh in the expansion of the 12th power of x plus three. Notice in this case, we don't just have x plus y, we have x plus three, which means for the notes, y is equal to three. But again, to begin, notice n is equal to 12. And because we're looking for the x to the seventh term, we know k is equal to seven. So because the first term of the binomial is just x, which matches our notes, the term is going to have x to the seventh in it. But then also notice in our notes, we have y to the power of n minus k. Our y value is positive three. And therefore we have to multiply by three, raise the power of n minus k, 12 minus seven is five. The sum of these two exponents must always equal n, seven plus five is 12. And then the combination is n choose k, which is 12 choose seven. So notice in this case, the coefficient is going to be 12 choose seven times three to the fifth. So let's go ahead and work this out. Let's determine 12 choose seven, which is 792 and three to the fifth is equal to 243. So here we have 792 times x to the seventh times 243. So the term is 792 x to the seventh times 243, which is 192,456 x to the seventh. And therefore the coefficient is 192,456. So notice here, this is more common where the combination is not the ending coefficient, but we do need it to determine the coefficient. And then for the third example, we're asked what is the coefficient of x to the fifth and the expansion of the eighth power of two x minus three. So looking at our notes again, notice instead of x, we have two x. Instead of y, we have negative three. To begin, notice n is equal to eight. And because we're looking for the x to the fifth term, k is equal to five. But to find the term, we don't just write down x to the fifth, because instead of x, we have two x, and therefore we have two x to the fifth for the x to the power of k, and the y to the power of n minus k is negative three, raised to the power of n minus k is eight minus five, which is three, and our combination is eight choose five. Eight choose five is equal to 56. Two to the fifth is equal to 32. And negative three to the third is equal to negative 27. So here we have 56 times 32 x to the fifth times negative 27. And now we multiply to find the term which gives us negative 48,384 x to the fifth. And therefore the coefficient is negative 48,384. I hope you found this helpful.